to music. From uh, the min little Minneapolis Telecommunications a Network down by the Lazy River that makes me Mr. Swizzo and so what? Well, the heat wave kind of broke this week, didn't it? And... I was as uncomfortable as anybody. And then it started getting a little bit chilly in the evenings. And now I'm a little bit sad because it means that it's going to get really cold soon. And, well, I guess... We've always got something to complain about with the weather up here. It also means that the state fair is just around the corner. And from our neck of the woods, of course, that means there are a lot of bands and shows going on. Everybody looks forward to the big blockbusters at the Grand Stand. But if you're like me, it's really fun to go out to the state fair and walk around to the smaller stages. If you take a look at the full calendar, you will see at the Liney Band Shell, I believe, a lot of very interesting, very cool talent. And at the really small stages all over the fair, there are things going on day and night every day. Coming up within the next week, anyway, if you will pardon me for getting my glasses on. Oh, my. Let's see here if we start out tonight. There is some electronica... And we're going to just pronounce it dental at the Triple Rock. This sounds pretty interesting. Saturday, the Bombay Suites at the Turf Club. Quite a collection of local musicians. This just in. Oh, my goodness. Does everybody remember Wilebski's in St. Paul, the Grand Blues venue? Sort of underground and gone away for a while, coming back big time tonight. John Mayall is playing at Wilebski's. Man, 
Friday and Saturday, our old pal, Detroit, Don King at Erte over northeast. Check out the glass top neon bar. Just a hint. Again, Saturday. This one just tickles my fancy tons. At Memory Lanes, it is hot hoochie coochie from the Windy City and Minneapolis. Lula Hoop Garoo. Jeez Louise and Jolie from Chicago meet Black Hearts Burlesque from Minneapolis. And boy, that's going to be one big night. Sunday. There's a solo show by Baltimore metal vet guitarist Brian Danilowski. He calls it Dar Sombra. This is experimental guitar. It is 15-minute works of art, and that, boys and girls, is at the entry. Where else would you put that? Monday and other nights during the week for several weeks, Kevin Kling presents Joyce Rejoice at Open Eye Figure Theater in South Minneapolis. The following, that same Monday, is the ongoing summer series of movies on the lawn at Brit's Pub, Tuesday through Saturdays for the next little while at the Chanhassen Dinner Theater, it's Hairspray. That's the calendar for now. Take a look around for more because this is the Twin Cities, boys and girls, and that's just the tip of the iceberg <sighs> here tonight and right now. Have you seen what is arrayed behind me? This just tickles me to death. I have to my right. An honest to gosh marimba. They brought a marimba into Studio A. And to my right, we have a steel drum. This is two of my favorite sounds in the whole world. And in the middle of it, we have a vast array of instruments and of voices that we call... Lake Four. Thank you very much, Mr. Swizzle. We're so happy to be here. Our band is um, me, Beth Brody, and Phil Burbig, Dan Johnson, and Will Kemperman. And um, our first song is called Minneapolis. <laughs> Way up in Minnesota, there's a little city I know. Everybody is friendly, though the cold winds blow. If you visit, travel by train, I always get you there too. Reach it quick by airplane, slowly by canoe. We've got plenty of lakes. city I know. Everybody is friendly, though the cold winds blow. Look for ladies 
with slippers in spring, barefoot dance with summer dates, kick your heels through autumn leaves, lace your winter skates. Texas up to Montana. They had colorful names like the Chisholm Trail and the Goodnight Loving Trail. This one's called the Longhorn Trail. Swing your neighbor's cup. 
Oh, um, Dan Johnson's got to be solo called Dry Water. It's a song I wrote. It's called Held You From the Start. Oh, 
Midnight thoughts born through my head I wish you knew just who I am I am not someone just for weak and fun And this is a song I wrote uh, about a guy who uh, really changed my life um, when I was a kid. I was going down one path, and he showed me a whole different way to go. I'll always thank him for that. Good friend of mine, though we never met. His name is one that I'll never forget. He was five foot ten, brown hair and brown eyes. He was a good, good friend for so many years. He bought me wine and he bought me beer. I was seventeen, but with him I was twenty-five. Oh, Charles, you never knew my name. When I met you, my life changed I found your wallet laying underneath a tree With an ID that matched perfectly Charles Uniac, you got me through high school And all those goofy teenage years When the weekend came, your ID was my past Purchasing wine, whiskey, and beer There was a date that I had that Friday night And I got a couple of bottles of wine And Shirley Thomas really was impressed Oh, thanks to you, old Charles, my friend We had us a really good time And Shirley sure looked good when she's undressed only a week before she thought that I was strange But all of that sure changed I found your wallet laying underneath a tree With an ID that matched perfectly Charles Uniac, you got me through high school And all those goofy teenage Purchasing wine, whiskey, and beer Well, if I ever had a chance to shake your hand I'd slap you on the back And I'd take you for the night out on the town When I turned 21, we parted ways But I never will forget How good it was that Charlie been around Yes, this is the marimba over here. I'm excited to play a marimba solo for you. This piece is written by Mitchell Peters and it's entitled Waves. I bet you'll see why it's entitled that. Thank you. 
Oh, that is, uh, that's one of my favorite moments I think I have ever had here. Thank you for that, man. Thank you for having me in the studio. <laughs> it's easy for me to have it here. You're the guy that's going to haul it around. Yeah. Well, you know, Eddie, Beth's husband, said, how are you going to get that in the car? And I said I was going to strap it on the top and carry it over here, because I have a small Hyundai accent. That's a hatchback, you know. I was thinking that I don't remember seeing the van that must have pulled up at no. some point. No. Each set of bars is connected by strings, and those roll up together. The resonators, those tubes sticking down, come off. There's two pieces of those, and then the legs fold up on the frame. So it goes pretty easily in the hatchback. <laughs> Plus, I brought the steel drum, too. Oh, boy, are we lucky. You, you guys are going to have to forgive me here, but I've just got to ask a couple of questions. How tough? Here's one of the things, boys and girls. Everybody wants to be a rock and roll star. So you go out and you buy yourself an electric guitar, and you buy yourself an amplifier. And when you do that, you're never going to make that music. How tough is it to play a marimba? Well, like any instrument, it takes practice. And actually, I've played marimba a long time since I've played drums, and they had me play it in school and stuff. But a couple of years ago, I uh, was inspired to play the guitar, like the classical guitar, acoustic guitar, like what Phil does over there. But my hands just don't really do that. But since I had a little background in the marimba, I thought I can make beautiful music on the marimba as well perhaps sing along with it. So then I've been doing that since I can do it, and I like the sound of it, and so do other people. So I would, for me, it's easier than the guitar. You know, you mentioned the classical guitar, and a friend of mine used to tell a story about John Williams, who was a Sego his uh, Segovia protege. And at one point in his life, John Williams, master of the classical guitar, thought that he would explore his fondness for rock and roll. And he went out and bought himself a solid body electric guitar and a little amplifier. And he started playing around with it. And in no time at all, he put it down and gave it up and sold it. Because... John Williams said he just doesn't play guitar that way. Even an electric guitar doesn't fit in his hands. Mm -hmm. he, he has to have the music stand in front of him right here. The tool for his foot right there. His guitar in exactly this position. And it's all got to be exactly so. Or... It just doesn't fit. Some things you think are going to be easy, and they're not. It makes total sense. <laughs> well, it really does, because yeah, you probably need to get the point. It makes total sense, because... Um... Ladies and gentlemen, Phil Burbig, it's good to have this man back. <laughs> no, because I've been, I, uh, I used to play in, you know, uh, all kinds of bands, hair bands, metal bands, all kinds of, when I was younger. Put the guitar down for like 25 years, and I picked up an acoustic, and I've been playing that for years, and when you put an electric in my hands, it's like putting a piece of wood or something like firewood or something like that. It takes me, it takes a long time for me to figure out how to play it. It's, it's different. No, it's different. No, everything is really different, but... And I say that as I stand here holding an electric bass. But <laughs> yeah, now there's that, and don't get me started <laughs> about this that. Easy. This is easy. All you have to do is hit one note, one note, and you know, you're playing the bass. <laughs> well, we'll discuss that another time. Um, I guess just the, the beauty of it, and, and one of the great things about having everybody here tonight, is that there's more to music than what you see in your standard rock and roll band. There's more to music than whatever the extremely popular stuff is that is 
at the Target Center or over at the XL. Yeah, that makes a lot of money. Yeah, some of it's really good. And there's nothing wrong with anything that anybody wants to do with music. I can't recommend music highly enough, whatever part of it you choose. But there is so much space. There are so many different things. And it's really wonderful to have some of them in here and to show people that there are beautiful things that get done outside of being the next big thing. How does the Lake Four come to be? Do you guys just sit around the basement or around the campfire and come up with this stuff? Um, yeah, actually. Um, we've been practicing in Dan's basement and in Will's shed, and um, I go out to a farm in Wisconsin. Woodshed. My parents' garage. I write some of the songs out there. And, <laughs> and someone has something, and they say, well, you know, let's try this. And we add in, and I don't know. It's just, it was getting to know these people and getting to play music with these people. It sort of gravitated toward gradually, let's do something. And then what was that thing? And then it became water-like. And then we were like, let's make a band. So we've been together about a year. But... Um, it's been, you know, some different, like, configurations before that. In, um, at Acadia, we were at a Jewish showcase and some other places, you know, in different group mm -hmm. groupings. But I've known these guys for a long time, so it's just a pleasure. It's comfortable yeah. being with yeah. them. That's great. That's great. We got, we got to talk to this man. This is the one-man rhythm section. You are... Dan Johnson. Dan, you make your money playing music? I No, and I've done it for a long time. I make my money other ways, nine to five like everybody else. You know, there are times when I honestly have, can't recommend too highly playing music for the love of it and making your money somewhere else because it's way too easy to try to make money out of something that you love. You can wreck it that way. But you keep doing it anyway. You have to keep doing it. Well, yes. I mean, especially when you're like all these guys, they're, they're songwriters and they're players. And so I like to write songs as well. And drums are like a workout. I don't like going to gym so I can come home and get two things done. Get my workout and put something in the skill bucket. So it works out great for me. So everybody contributes and everybody sort of uh, enters this thing on a very equal type footing? Well, for the most part, Beth is writing most of the lyrics and songs, and Phil on his own has his own uh, one-man show pretty much. Yes, we've known Mr. Phil for a while. <laughs> We're so glad of that. And on arrangements, we all kind of come together to just make it so that it comes from individual to a foursome. And then that just takes some input from each of us, and it just works out. Yes, it does indeed. I haven't asked this kind of a question for a long time. What kind of music do you guys listen to? What kind of music do you go out and see? What do you like? Well, let's see. I should say classical first. I mean, um, I like um, some of the um, Australian classical guitarists, um, Timothy Kane, and I think there's a John Williams there, too, in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to listen to Segovia and Christopher Parkening. Julian Bream and some of those people. Um, but I also like, you know, contemporary music, like, um, I guess, um, who am I thinking of the most? Um, well, Chardé was just here. That's great, yes. you know, for world music. And for local music, I guess I used to go and see Trip Shakespeare at First Avenue and Babes in Toyland, some of those bands. Um, I kind of live, kind of live there, you know. Yes. And that, um, <laughs> what was that? Under the groove, you know, like house under the groove till three in the morning. One nation under the groove. Yeah. 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 So I mean, music is just a, it's so wide, it's hard to pinpoint a, a listening experience. But 
I think one of the greatest talents is being able to put yourself into one different kinds of music and two music that you don't know about yet. Try something new on every once in a while. You don't have to like everything, but you got to look around. Too, you never know. You know, the next time you hear us, we might be doing something different too. But yeah. <laughs> I can't I wait to listen. I can't wait. And speaking of waiting, I have kept people waiting too long. Not to mention that I see a man standing prepared next to a steel pan. This is going to be too cool. This is Lake Four. song about uh, the carnival in Trinidad and Tobago. of it to fly or sail but sun in the islands is free we'll take it slow and tow they go no need to rush at all funds to be had in trinidad at time of the carnival if drinks are too sip life has no script night winds may Swaying its hips, the beat is colored, so let's dance. When hunger gnaws our crows, there's Tony's barbecue. Or we'll stroll and find a bowl of spicy callaloo. To feathered mask and fancy dress, I'll add a parasol. To be had in Trinidad at time of the carnival. If drinks are too sip, life has no script. Night winds may whip a romance. A band on the ships swaying its hips. The beat is silent, so.
<clears throat> the next song um, is from an old prayer book, the text, and uh, it means standing in Hebrew, and uh, it's a meditation. like to eat chocolate. <laughs> Leaning in over forkfuls, we could manage a pot from you. 
special guest, Edwin Brody, who helped me write the song. Dan is <clears throat> leading this one. All right, well, OK. Whoa. Um, dog on blues. I had a dog named Freddy. I fed him twice a day. I gave him water in his bowl. He done run away, come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? Day and night, I miss his face, I miss his furry hide. I miss his shaggy hand shake and walking by his side. Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? I put up a description, signs in the town square. Reward if you see my dog Fred. Call me, I'll be there. Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? I let him loose in the park. And then I'd call his name. He used to come running back. Life's just not the same. Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? I'll give you extra toys and treats, a great big butcher's bone. I'll let you sleep on satin sheets. Please wag your tail home. Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? Come back, little Freddy. How did I do you wrong? Wabada bobada bobada Where you been gone so long? Oh, 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 oh. It's a song written by a gentleman named John Felix, and I guess this is the last song, so thank you. <laughs> to heaven, the first drink's on me, the next one's on Jesus, and the third one is free, the fourth one's been paid for by St. Anthony, but when we get to heaven, the first drink's on me, I spend my life drinking the whiskey and the beer, cause when things become blurred, they shall become clear. And I know it ain't right, it ain't all that wrong to spend your life drinking the whiskey, singing the song. When we get to heaven, the first drink's on me, the next one's on Jesus, and the third one is free. Fourth one's been paid for by St. Anthony But when we get to heaven, the first drink's on me And don't wait 
with your finger and me and my glass because down through the years it's the best friend I've had and when it comes time to hang up my hat I'm going to heaven and start a new tab when we get to heaven the first drink's on me the next one's on Jesus and the third one is free the fourth one's in paid for by St. Anthony but when we get to heaven the first drink's on me when we get to heaven We'll know we belong Be a choir of angels Singing old country songs When we get to heaven We'll join the party But you better remember The first drink's on me to heaven, the first drink's on me, the next one's on Jesus, and the third one is free, the fourth one's been paid for by St. Anthony, but when we get to heaven, the first drink's on me, yeah, when we get to heaven, the first drink's on me, yeah, when we get to heaven, the first drink, that's on me. the opportunity to be here tonight. With Beth Brody on lead vocals. Bill Thank Burbank, you. Dan Johnson, Will Kemperman. And we play all around, so Thanks, come Mr. Swizzle. Thanks, everybody. Is there a little dog somewhere around here? <laughs> a little dog? <laughs> yeah, I thought there was one. <laughs> <laughs>